I'm having to use two laptops as well. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Come on. Oh, why is it showing all that display on the camera? Oh, hello. That one's gone. All right, I'm messing with it. <laughs> why is it coming up with all that display? Oh, do you know what? Bloody eight cameras. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, my laptop camera is not actually too bad, and then I've got a little uh, 1080 HD job. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm using here. But I've got one camera, and it, it works for two minutes, then just dies. <laughs> right. So, I'm Carl. This is Martin from Under the Hammer. He's going to give you a with the build for the Ender 7. I can't get rid of the display on the camera, but I just go with the flow. So, you all right, Ray? How are you doing? Right. I this shall. is a pretty exciting one, isn't it? Yes. I've been uh, I've been waiting for two weeks for this to come out of customs. <laughs> this is I, I think this is one that's been quite anticipated across the board. To be honest, um, a lot of people have sort of seen bits about it, and everybody's sort of thinking, right what's it actually like so this is quite nice to be on to be fair yeah I, well the uh, guide i got from mandy at creality just reading it we just like right if it all works well spot on yeah like, i mean I've, I've, i had a brief viewing and a, a quick read um from when you sent it to me and i was thinking okay this will be interesting you know, uh, the, the normal running speed of it, 250 millimetres a second, that could be fun. Yeah. Well, someone in the group posted yesterday that they cut the time for their lithophanes in half. So it was doing, uh, outer was 200 millimetres a second and the inner was 100 millimetres a second. So, if it's right. That's, that's quite, um, yeah, quite a jump. You know, I, I thought... I was doing well with the Hornet at 80 millimetres a second. I thought that was quite quick. Yeah. But, uh, uh, I don't normally go over about 60, to be honest, because I like take the time. I like a nice finish. But my CR10 Smart I've probably had about 100. So I'm quite big. But as you know, with most, most of my prints are like quite fine detail and, and sort of finicky. So most of mine, I'm generally around 45 mil a second. Um, Except for on the Hornet, which I crank it up to around 70, 65, 70. Um, and yeah, they, they, that does really well. But if this this has got a, uh, a good Corex. tolerance to it at those speeds, I'll be interested. Yeah, well, Core XY is going to be a dream. Oh, yeah, definitely living the dream. And on the website, it was saying I think there's 80,000 hours of lifetime on the linear rails. I think that's just. That's. Like that's pretty impressive really when you think you know your life of the average wheel on a, a say a standard ender um you're you're in pretty good sort of territory if you're looking at eighty thousand hours i think Crowley's first time with that uh, linear rails as well isn't it so yeah too you're right yeah um so yeah it should definitely be interesting and hopefully they've uh nailed it right and i'm, I'm sure we're going to find out well, I'm hoping I don't have to do a Joe Tellen and uh, chop the front off. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, we'll get on with the build anyway, chaps. Yeah, let's have a look. What's in the box? Oh, right. Let's have a look. I can't see the screen, Martin, so you're going to have to. No, yeah, you're all that. good. You're bang on. You're bang on. So. I went in beforehand anyway and had a look at the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. Lots and lots of screws really to go in. But an after sales card, I've not seen that in any of my other printers. So I had, I think I had one. I think the last one I've seen was on my. I did have briefly a. Um, LD002H. Ah, the uh, resin. Yeah, I did have one with that. I'm sure I did. Um, but other than that, I haven't seen one. 
Well, I think the padding they're using now is far better than what they were. From my yeah, it's nice and thick. B2 was... It, it was all right, but... No, that's insanely thick. So much better. I did see that you actually get... Uh, nice, nice. What's that? Two two fifty, is it? No, it's point uh, five kilograms. So, so oh, okay, half a kilo. That's yeah, that's yeah. good. Getting a little bit more. Uh, what's in here? Actually, I oh. might be able to see a bit better. So the old, can we see? Yeah, the old toolbox. So UK plug, which is nice. Well, I mean, that's the first. Everyone oh, I've been sent, every every machine I've been sent in the last year has had an, either an EU or an American plug. Yeah, my my CR10 Smart is the only one that I've got with a UK plug. I, I keep having to buy plugs. I, I think I'm going to take out shares on plugs. Yeah. Well, to be honest, <laughs> I, I normally get the EU ones, and I just push yeah. a screwdriver into an unplugged extension and then just push it in and it's fine. Yeah, um, no, I... I've generally got quite a few kettle leads from work, so I end up robbing them. <laughs> so the old USB connector, and where's this camera working? Yep, and a little SD card. They've nice. got the new nozzles, which are a little bit bigger. How's that coming out? Was it not too good? Oh, let's try on this one. Might be better. Oh, bloody back. Nice. That's nice. What what uh, size are they? 0.4s? Uh, yeah, but they did write down that they are increased by 50 millimetres, so cubic millimetres bigger. To length. Um, yeah, so the heat block has been increased to 4,000 millimetres. So it's, a, it's kind of like the volcano style? Yeah. Nice, it's, nice. Uh, and some little clips for connecting the cables to the frame. Nice. Evening Cleo and tons of screws, which I noticed before. Mm -hmm. mm. Little holder. A bit disappointed it hasn't got the uh, bearings in, to be honest, like the CR10 Smart, but we'll give it a go. So it's uh, basically like a fixed plastic um, yeah. Yeah, tube again. So yeah. it's, it's more going back to the sort of Ender style. and Yeah, well, the CR10 Smart, if you get one, the, the spool holder is brilliant. It's got a bearing, two bearings inside, and it just works. It's it works. Hard. See, that's half about. I mean, I've, I've had a few now, and they're hit and miss where the actual spool doesn't sit on too well or um, is sort of creates a bit of friction because it's static. Uh, the old uh, scraper for a glass bed. Very nice. I've got a nice collection of them. Yeah, I've, I've, I think I've got enough to supply a couple of the painter and decorators in Torbay now. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. Now, let's try and get the first bit out, which, by the looks of it, is the top. So it has a hot end on it, to be honest. That's a nice frame. It's, it's quite solid. That's a nice frame, to be fair. I, I like that. The dual gear extruder, which it's, is the first that I've had from Creality, apart from when they upgraded one of mine that broke. So, that's um, really nice to see, actually. It's all metal as well, isn't it? Um, casing's it, plastic. No, extruder. Extruder. Oh, extruder. Yeah, all alloy. Yeah, no, that's nice to see, because generally the biggest fault I keep finding with extruders lately is the handle snaps over time. So what, what I've noticed, well, they've got the filament run out sensor, but they've got a fan. So obviously, with the speed, <coughs> keeping the um, the stepper drop, uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, so nice. There for the uh, T. No, I, that that looks quite sturdy. To be fair, that's it's going to be interesting. It, a lot of the weight is where the stepper motors are. So yeah, sit quite nice. More rubbish for the kids to play with. Woohoo! 
I'm sure my dog will eat that later and I'll be taking him to the vets at some point. <laughs> See, what I love with the 3D printing world at the moment, they are catering for your animals, your children, it, it, without like, even putting the thing, on, thing together. Yeah, mine are on summer holidays, my kids at the moment, so they are animals. <laughs> just the way it is so 40 by 40 yeah one of the old frames for the legs to uh support the top and bottom I'll tell you what this is nicely packed bit of cardboard very nice to hold <laughs> oh, i'll tell you what that is that is really nice so obviously the uh, the gantry to put the bed on See, this is this is certainly looking a lot more um, substantial than your general average three D printer, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's looking a lot more manly, if you like. It's got a nice bit of grease on there as well. Nice to see. I like that. Yeah, cool. nice. Also, the stepper motors are the forty two sixty. So yeah, so that's a step up from the forty two forties, was it? Yeah, to uh, distribute the, the speed a little bit quicker and get the heat out. Oh. Number two. Nice, nice. Oh, it's really nice. nice. It's nice to see they've stepped up the uh, the actual diameter of these rather than the old 40 by 20s. Yeah. They've actually... Uh, Taking a bit of advice and actually gone a bit thicker with it. So, from reading before, there is a slightly different connection for the bed. Right. So, this is similar to what Artillery have done with their um, umbilical cord. So, it's like yeah. a, a push in pin job with a screw down um, retainer, if you like. Yeah. 24 volt is a bit used to with Creality. It looks. I like the way they've they've uh, that, that, insulated it as well. Yeah, it's uh, nice. That's nice. Nice. Not a bad size either. Two fifty by two fifty. So you're yeah, so you used to as well. Bit of a step up. Oh. Well, there can't be much more left in here, right? <laughs> yes, a bit of plastic to go over. I think from reading the build plate, so just hides the screws. What else we got? The box that keeps on giving, look. Oh, slim hold up. Yeah, spool load up. Lovely, lovely. Let's just check all the nooks and crannies because there's been many a time I found stuff in it. Yeah, <laughs> you've launched it out and then you go through it and think, ah, right there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen them screws. Oh, sugar. Oh, there they are. They're in the dog. <laughs> Right, and oh, that's what, a nice chunky base. That base is solid. It's um, it's very similar to the footing for my CR10 Smart. Actually, it's quite heavy, and it has a Type C USB connection. Like nice. Which I don't know if that's going to focus in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see it. Yeah, that looks nice. That's handy. Really nice. Already set to 2.30, so happy days. Nice bit of fan on the bottom there. Oh, that is... Yeah, that's nice. That frame. Ah, that's nice, that. Now the fun part. Let's <laughs> make sure it is. As usual. Uh, I will have to say the box was battered. Yeah, I, I must admit, I've seen the pictures you posted, and um, it had taken... It's taken some beating. A bit of a kick in. So, uh, so, a bit of a beat in there. And there was one. Yeah, that's it there. That. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, what, they're wrapped and pressed and must have been having a field day in here. Well, I think they were just trying to prove to you that the packaging will it sort of withstand a battery. <laughs> Tell you what, my recycling bin's going to move forward this week. The wife is not to be impressed. <laughs> oh, right. Let's just put days. bits over there. So I've got everything to hand. Oh. Uh, I don't know about Raspberry Pi yet, but I will try and find out in the next couple of days. 
like to try and uh, test them, get them going. Right, those instructions. So this is the one they classed as the, wasn't it the Greek structural build? Yeah, like the old uh, temples. Yeah, the Colosseums yeah. and things, wasn't it? it? Where it was based on a four-pillar structure, um, which was kind of interesting. They went down that route, actually, and, and sort of the reasons behind it. And, yeah, it made it it's quite interesting on their sort of reveal. Yeah, it's nice to have a bit of a story behind a build, I guess. Better yeah, it's, it's kind of nice that they're looking outside of the sort of mainstream, if you like, or, or the the general go-tos at the minute. So, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, in the book, so not too bad. But I suppose you just get start building there. <laughs> and sort of screws out, so I'm not looking like a fool. Oh. <laughs> Which, if you ask me kids, they will tell you I do it every single day. <laughs> right. It's just... Oh. Yeah. You. Right. Let me know if it's a, a bad angle, people, and I'll uh, see what I can do. Yeah, so far, I mean, it's, you have to it's pretty much me in front, that. and you've got one to the side, so that's kind of nice. You have to forgive my back. I might uh, say the odd uh, rude word. <laughs> Uh, which I've had to abbreviate for the kids. I thought yeah. new words to say instead of other words. So basically, with these forty-two by sixties, they're classing them as a um, basically as a high-performance stepper, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so robust honest, motor, high-speed operation, utilising and customising the 40 by 60 high-power stepper motor. So that's going to be kind of um, interesting to see how much of a difference they make, to be honest, Carl. Yeah, I, I quite like it, actually, because I've got the CR200Bs. I really like them. The yeah. The closed part, I like the way it's laid out. And um, 200 by 200, it's not small, it's not big. But it does what I need it to do. Exactly. I mean, I've I've not got I've not funnily enough had one of the square units like the Ender Pro, uh, Ender Five Pro, or the Seven, or like you say the Two Hundred. I've I've not actually had one of those style machines before. So, kind of interested to see what this one does. There you go. That's quite nice. That's a nice change. Obviously, there's a lot more screws in here. Um, they've actually labelled them. So oh, that's nice. Six. Uh, oh, there's a gasket in there, Ooh. and I'm guessing they're like the M4 ones. There's a few of them. <laughs> right. So <coughs> this big boy goes in the back. But we have to. There you go. You have to remove the old table from the back. I'm reading. Oh yeah. Look at that. So. I was reading online before there's literally like three things to plug in that's that connection is very similar oh, so they've done it on a big ribbon then yeah so it's a very similar to the cr10 smart then literally three of them plugged in and away you go nice um, nice so that's basically cutting right down on the wiring time then yeah non fam nice to see you mate Mom, fam, you should come on here, mate. Get ready for when you're doing it. Yeah. Right. This is where I'll end up losing every single screw. What, right. what you want to do, Carl, get yourself a little mag plate. You know the mechanics, mag plates. I've got, yeah, I've got these here. I've got a magnetised one here. I just didn't get it ready. <laughs> yeah. A few of them. That's the kiddies. Yeah, I... I Square by him. I've got a big tray one, and I've got a couple of the small pot ones. Right. And I just I throw them and slum in there, and the kids just steal it. <laughs> and trust me to have glasses missing that actually helped me read. Only I could do that. Right, we're looking for M518. So that is the M4. M518. Yes, yes, yes. So where's that go? Okay. Oh. 
tell you what, I need to go back and get my eyes tested. Okay, so that goes into the base. Uh, forward then. So, so each one of these on the bottom, one has a, a serrated lock washer. Just to help it out, I guess. Oh yeah, we've got one that goes on the top part as well. So I'm guessing they've done quite a few tests to make sure it doesn't come loose. Well, I hope so. <laughs> My AT, right. So it's not. It could be interesting, Carl. Oh yeah, I'll be chasing. <laughs> no. Right. So we need to put separate wire in the back. Oh. Sorry for the view on the backside, people. <laughs> you're, you're slightly out of out of shot on your backside. You're all right, Carl. I'm you're saving right. all these all these lovely viewers are, are being saved from uh, oh, that yeah. one. <laughs> That's probably why my wife works so much. I don't have to see it. <laughs> right. so, I think that's why my wife sends me to work that much, so she doesn't have to see it. Yeah. Well, funny enough, we, me and Martin were actually talking earlier today, and I've actually learned how to crochet today. I know it's like doing 3D printers, but... I'm really impressed that I learned how to do that. Because about four weeks ago, I launched everything in the bin. And my wife told me to keep going. So that's what I've been doing all day, trying to ignore that I was coming on here. But, <laughs> oh, God, that's it. So got, this could be a fun <laughs> non fam yeah i'm i'm intrigued on the speeds on it to be honest to see how how well it sort of produces at sort of 250 millimeters a second like they're saying um i i've got high hopes hopefully it does do really well but we shall see are you make a viking welcome to the chat with it being their first core xy with linear rails could be an inkling in the direction they're actually going yeah i'm i'm kind of hoping it is a sort of like just to sort of show that they are going to be going more on the core xy that would be great um you know. but hopefully that'll uh, help yeah because i was i was looking at doing that uh, linears on my end of three actually I did think about it myself, funnily enough. I've been thinking about it, but I'm now currently having to put the Ender 3 into storage for a little bit because I've got so many printers or <laughs> ones on the way. Wow, yes. So, um, yes, that one's going to have to go away because that's been my trusty workhorse for, like, nearly just short of two years now. Well, it's one of the reasons. I've been kicked into the shed to be honest. Um, uh, the wife uh, wasn't happy with them being in our bedroom, which I don't <laughs> see a problem, but she she thought the lights were noise. Yeah, but you know, who argues with your wife? You can't. Well, I you can, know. but you never win. So it's it's probably better you make a shed and move to the shed. To be honest, it's the easy option. Happy Welcome back, Craig. Ten. So, right, you, you probably are going to see my backside now. So I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll move the camera a little bit better. To... So you don't actually see it because it's, <laughs> it's not a great sight. Oh, oh, oh God! It's white three D Canada. How are you doing? And yeah, Carl, you've destroyed the camera. Well done, Matt. I know. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'll get the bloody things. Technology. Oh, well, that's why. Oh. <laughs> Is that working? Come on. You're doing it now, mate. Oh, no. I think the internet's gone down as well. Bloody hell. Oh. Yeah, so this is looking kind of interesting. Right, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Right. right. I'm on the other camera now, so 
bloody cameras. Right, I'll get back to it now. So you won't actually see my backside, so that's a, a blessing for you all. Oh, my kids were going to help me with this, but they've discovered a game on God knows what. <laughs> Doing whatever not on there. I have to chase my uh, Craig, here, yeah I, I sort of am on YouTube but I, I do a live once a week with under the hot uh, sorry digital taxidermy and we do a segment called digital taxidermy gets under the hot end and we tend to look at different printers different products um, yeah Rates number. and designs all sorts we, we cover a whole wide range of uh, the 3D industry and 3D world and what is available, to be honest. Um, I do do a lot on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, and I generally work a lot in the background with producers and uh, beta testing and and trying to solve issues with them. So, yeah, I, I do do a fair bit on, on YouTube. It generally, we do it on Twitch and then it gets loaded to youtube yeah it's fun yeah we, we just fun. generally yeah, yeah, sort yeah. of have a chill time with us and we go through different things that we found out and sort of help out anybody who's got any issues or wants to know anything really and that is why martin helping me out today i'll try <laughs> I'm trying to make this. I tell you what, the Allen key, right? The little bit could have been a little bit shorter. It is really close to the uh, the frame there, but oh well. Flash always forward the, find out, right? the flash forward finder is quite a, quite a good machine, to be honest. And the the CR10S, um, yeah, it's a great base unit to play from. It really is. I, I love the CR10s. Uh, make a viking there soon will be a couple of new mach new printers available from me interesting oh yes make a viking yeah I've, uh, interesting yeah i've been enjoying the little updates every week with them mm, yeah that's uh, definitely one for everybody to keep an eye out on that, that sounds intriguing he's a uh, tell you what he's put some thought and some effort into them they are even his logo is nice just, just yeah. goes below the printer nice it's nice really looking forward to hearing a bit about that that's yeah so what is it is it one per corner again as per normal is it carl four so four went on here one with one of the uh uh, locking washer things and four on this one and another four on here sweet once sweet. it catches it's uh not too bad actually but there is a fair wallop of screws i don't know how someone done this in half an hour but i'll leave it to them but saying that i didn't do my cr10 in 20 minutes like they promised so a huge core xy that sounds yeah very interesting <laughs> i like I, I love big printers i really do it's just, i just wish i had more room um <laughs> i've got a, a bit of a weird frankenstein that i made up uh with a couple of friends um which started out as a cr10 funnily enough and it just sort of grew and grew and grew and I, I, I've actually got it in storage because I can't fit it in my print house at the moment. <laughs> to be honest, Make a Viking, have you seen the new artillery printers they uh, announced the other day? The colours, very similar to yours. I the... think they've been uh, spying on your uh, Twitter account with the colours. Uh, the micro switch, uh, sorry, the. Yeah. Um, uh, what is it? The Sidewinder, Sidewinder and the Genius, isn't it? And the Genius yeah. Pro. Yeah. They look good on spec. Yeah, they did. They, they The original um, Sidewinder was, was actually a really solid unit. Um, once you 
dialed it in. It was absolutely awesome. Well, James, you know from Honey Badger? Yeah. He, uh, he swears by the, the original Sidewinder. He loves them. Yeah, they're a great they printer. Well. They really are. <coughs> but it, the thing is, you just don't know what print is going to turn up. 700, that sounds awesome. I could do lots of damage you, you, with one of them with the stuff I print. That would be cool. The thing is, you get te if you've got 10 printers to send to 10 people, I guarantee every single one will be slightly different. Oh, I'll guarantee it. There'll, there'll always be, be something. There's no consistent times. You know, and like on one of the forums, the CR10 Smart, the amount of people that are having issues with the bed leveling, the, the, the actual build plate not being level is, it's, it's crazy. Basically, Cray, that's how I started out with my... Um monstrosity frankenstein build to be honest i started out with a volcano replacing tubes going direct drive then i done um all metal hot ends yeah rods then i've done the diagonals and in the end i just went a bit mad and changed boards steppers pretty much everything on that machine got swapped out and made excessively too big but it was if fun that's one of the reasons I I to my end of three with my boys you know like a bit of a project you know in the winter when it's dark and gloomy maybe get Crack an idea kit for it make it a good build yeah i, I mean but like you, you you've seen with with what i do the you know the the designers that i help and assist i i generally end up doing a lot of gaming gaming scenery for tabletop gaming um and generally what i do you guys see about half of what i actually print for different designers um and i stockpile the other half of the winter um and i generally just have mad painting sessions um, and just paint up scenery all the way through the winter which is quite cool i quite you know <laughs> occupies me quite a lot well, to be honest, the last thing I painted was uh, my nine-year-old, well, now ten-year-old son's nails. A fancy dress thing at school. So it was a shocking job. <clears throat> yeah, you, you definitely um, get up to some weird I think things. It off. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I think it peeled off before we even got out the front door. Yeah, <laughs> make a Viking. Yeah, definitely. I mean, my end of three isn't really an end of three anymore. There's the only thing that's left that's end of is a bit of the framework, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I, I have got a couple of standard rock standard machines, but yeah, I generally do get a bit carried away when I'm bored. <laughs> I, I generally sort of adapt and play and then it gives me the opportunity to feed back to producers and say look if you've done this this and this it makes martin. it so much better martin when are you ever bored um you're a busy right um, well, yeah, you know what time yeah. Is, don't you? I, I get it's bored about tonight. once a year so i'll tell you what we'll have a look at the bottom first uh like martin okay, points that's out, interesting. It's uh, it's quite tight actually. It's quite insulated there. And guess that, what? That reminds me. You know the the brackets you have for the the shit the adjustable shelving, the metal shelving. Yeah. You slot that into the rails, and then you put your wood on, and you screw it in. That's that's what that reminds me of. Which really would say to me it's pretty strong. I'll tell you what. Them. Oh, hang on. Them clips are actually. Got a little screw oh, they're proper little clips. There, just to allow you to uh lift the old bed out. Oh, that's not bad. I'll tell you what, yeah, that's that's, that's quite me. nice to be fair. So you I'll undo the clip and it doesn't look. ping off. Yeah, it make it makes a nice change. It's um the clasp on the bed on the CR ten smart are the same as my CR two hundreds. Right. And it's a nuisance to get the bed at the back to begin with um 
take it does take you've got to get like a 45 degree angle on it you know to actually yeah I'm with you. The, the, the glass underneath um but after a couple of times it loosens up to be honest oh i do right let's see what i have to do now right one two three i hope that's the right one m46 yep so we've got now eight screws to put in to get the bed yeah <laughs> it shows um, it, to be honest it shows they've actually thought about it by putting that extra brace in on there to be honest they've actually sort of stopped and and taken something in and thought yeah we need to support this up which is nice right but i'm kind of a bit confused because there seems to be screws in there already Somebody's filled them What's just that to that wind that? you up, pal. Just to be honest, <laughs> I got a free bag of screws by the looks of it. Winner. Let's let's just check. Yep, spot on. If it's wrong, I'm going back to spec savers tomorrow to get my lenses changed. <laughs> oh. It is. Yeah, I, th I think you're right there, Maker Viking. Um, yeah, it, it was definitely the must have sort of mod, wasn't it? Because so many issues with the bed on the uh, the end of five, it was a bit of a um tragedy, really. I've, I know a lot of people that ended up skimming beds and all sorts just to make sure they're level. It's um, yeah, it is quite amusing. Uh -uh. I'd be interested to see how they go with this, you know, with obviously with them doing like the end of three max, the end of five pro, the end, you know, the, the generation yeah, moving forward. If if they make a a seven pro or max, that that would be quite cool. Right, there you go, idiot guy. So it it moves. So does that actually sit like that on there? Yeah. Tell you what, that can be long enough. Oh. I'll tell you what, this won't be an half an hour deal for me. Oh. <laughs> They're testing me already. Right. Do you know what that is? Not the best angle. Let's just bring it forward a little bit. So, is that bolted on the top of there, or is it not in between? It's, uh, I'll actually show you first. It has a moving part. So, see, this moves the bed up and down, but this has it goes with it. So right, it kind of okay. Yeah, I'll so it ties the whole lot together rather than dependent on the just the screw. Yeah. See, well, that's quite, quite a nice sound, that. <laughs> it doesn't take much to keep me happy. <laughs> it's been crocheting, making noises with, with uh, rolling carriages. Carl's made up hey, today. I told you that in secret. <laughs> <laughs> He's had a good day today. Yep. Yeah. I've... Uh... I am being positive. Well, I was for the start of this. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're a swine. <laughs> what? I'm building it now, am I? Uh. Stop messing with that stuff, you bloody kids. Right, you're going to have to excuse me a minute. I'm going to have to put a light on to actually... It's, it's where you go through. to find the hot end in a minute and it's missing. <laughs> well, don't. I'll be having hot there. <laughs> right, Leighton give up with that, mate. Is it not September yet? kids go back to school <laughs> not that you know i wish it on them but they not go back tomorrow hi james welcome to the live 
at the moment we've just been discussing how Carl's ventured into the world of um, crochet. Um, <laughs> he's got a fetish for the sound of carriages rolling to the bed and knocking. <laughs> hey, if it floats my boat, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Tell you what, I'm going to get another light put in here to see this properly. Jesus. You're going to have to get some LEDs sat in that room, mate. Brighten it right up. Yeah, good job I've got a sun that's 19 and a spark, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's always a win. Yeah, if he, want, if he wants feeding for the rest of the week, then he's going to... Uh, put a load of light in his... Yeah. <laughs> Image Jew's been taking the dog out for me twice a day, so that's always a, a blessing. Good lad. Which I'm sure the dopey dog will wander in here at one point and knock everything flying. <laughs> I got two Daxies and they could actually probably fit on that bill plate. <laughs> to be honest, I got a cocker spaniel and I'm surprised he fits through the door to get in here, to be honest. <laughs> well I've got I've got two Daxies. My male is absolutely massive. He's so long, it's unreal. He's not overweight, he's just stupidly long. Um, and then I got a female, and she's just absolutely batty. She's just mental. Well, the seven-year-old's job is to actually feed the dog. But I'll, I'll be fair; I actually think he feeds like Ethiopia. You know, when he's feeding, <laughs> it just pours the bag in. Like yeah. the dog has to have a sleep, <laughs> have a break between his meals. <laughs> And then he goes, oh, we've got no food. I'm like, I only brought it last week. <laughs> this is a nightmare. It's a pain. So, yeah, there's there's definitely a lot more securing on the actual bed than the sort of, like, majority of Creality's printers then. Yeah. To be honest, it's probably... It's probably... Hello, Carl. Can I have to pound in my money this week? No, because I'm on YouTube at the moment, so you can put her off for a bit. <laughs> my 19 year old gave him his bank card the other day and gave him his pin number to go to the shop. <laughs> so, we're doing that again anytime soon. Brave. <laughs> That's a bit better. Right, so it's actually a bit easier if you just put one of the screws in with a bit of movement and then you can get the rest to bite. In theory. Oh. Even James? James, when's your uh, the new sign wide coming towards you? Because I've seen a couple of reviews and quite, yeah, well, quite impressive. taken by the side, the the X2 Sidewinder. It's um, if it's anything like the first one, that could be pretty special. By what I've seen, they've done a few little sort of tweaks here and there, and they've put all the blue sort of glam on it. Um, so definitely, sort of looking forward to seeing uh, first performance, first uses of that. Yeah, because the stepper motor on the Z has, it looks like plastic, but I believe it's aluminium on it, you know, like an alloy in blue. Yeah, it's it's similar to this pyramid that I've got. Um, they've done the same, but in red. Not the moment, Alan. Um, yeah, it seems a whole it. new thing at the minute where they're, they're coating and things. So, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Tomorrow, Honey Budget, oh, yeah. Definitely looking forward to seeing uh, you post with that one, mate. That's um, it is quite up there for me. I've, I've I've got the Hornet and I absolutely love it. To be honest, um, I've had one blockage so far. I've been quite lucky. Oh, right. That seems to be done. Right. What now? Oh, <laughs> James. <laughs> 
That bed support looks uh, like a worse idea than trusting a Catholic priest <laughs> watching your kids. It, yeah, it looks looks a lot of work, to be honest. It's it's uh, yeah, we've got eight another four to put in. Nope. So half the weight of this printer is the screws that hold the bed. Indeed. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> and now I'm just going to dislodge me this spine a little bit more because it is from behind. But just to uh, make it a little bit more fun for me. Well, at least as standard, you've got yellow springs. Yeah. Yeah. At least seem a lot better than what they've <laughs> If had nothing there. else, it's got yellow springs on there, so it's got to be good, eh? Is it the printer that looks trustworthy or me, James? Because if it's me, I agree. <laughs> Ooh, but saying that, I actually live about 100 metres from a Catholic school as well. Steady. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so four screw go in the back just to hold that support. I'll tell you what, it's solid though. Give them that. Oh. I was going to say, it's it's actually starting to look a lot more stable. The more you do, the more stable it's getting. Yeah, I was watching some videos today. I was trying to work out how to kind of maybe put an enclosure with the frame. But obviously, I wouldn't be able to do that on the back of the, uh, the Z. So, hmm. Maybe use the box that came with it on the side. That worked. Yeah. James is saying, as you turned it around, the bed was flapping like mad, and it kind of was, but it is slowly starting to stiffen up by the look of it. Don't worry, James. I'll give it a rub. Here go hard. <laughs> right. Where are we? More screws. No. Right. Now we're on top component. How many screws now? M5. Four of them and a washer. There's the washer. <coughs> I'll tell you what, these magnetic bowls are great, but they carry all the tools around like this. <laughs> you need to get two one for the tools, one for the. <laughs> oh, uh, so, what? I probably. Uh, rub it like the rub making else off me. Right. Ooh. At least I haven't scratched the glass yet. Right. But there is time. Okay, so right. that's the old uh, top. Let's try and adjust this camera with all that. that one's lying around on this table. It's like a jumble sale in here at times. Oh, so it's got two calling fans i believe which is uh meant to be like a butterfly i'm not quite sure how that works but is it two part calling out. fans or yeah it okay. has indeed right let's just double check if i actually break it like i'm very good at doing oh do you know what i'm gonna kill them kids <laughs> Slowly. Right, so I cannot see where that actually screws on. Oh, I can now. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of an odd choice, isn't it, James? On why why mm. it's so counter levered. Whoa! Well, you don't eat James. I'm not ten years old anymore, right? Fucking kids. Part of my language. Hmm. I'm. Yeah. I'm you, would, you would think there would be something there if nothing else. To have that that big counter lever is quite. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. Especially. 
Like Especially there, with the, the, the claims they're making on speed and everything, it, it does make me think, why didn't you put well, something there to secure the front speed. end? Yeah. My stopper motor seems to be kind of set in the way a little bit. Uh, the stop switch, but we'll see. Okay, well, it's sitting there. It's quite tight. Oh, Joe. Uh, give me a sec, I'll move the camera back a bit so you can actually get a bit of a better view of it before I actually fall over. Ooh. Jesus Christ. I, I won't show you what's actually behind the uh, camera. It's like a jungle sale. <laughs> <sighs> Run by Catholic priests, like James would say. <laughs> Hmm. It's very strange. So you have two screws. Do you know what? That's a bit. Oh, there's got four going on. I'll tell you what, it's a bit strange. This right four at the bottom first. Yeah, I I was thinking the same thing, um uh, non fan. Um, why couldn't they have put some form of guide wheels on that the, the front left and right there and, and use that to sort of keep the bed at an even pace going up? But they've apparently, I'm guessing they've tested uh, quite a lot and they've decided this is enough. So we shall see, I guess. It it, do you know what? It would have been a lot easier to add like a little lip, you know, on the lid, the top. Yeah. Where it fits into a little groove so you actually know where you line it up because it's not the, the easiest to actually line up. So far, I wouldn't say it is the easiest printer to build, is it, to be honest? Man, what a divvy I am to do it for the first. <laughs> what? what? Uh, you sure you sure you ain't got the top on back the front? <laughs> you know what? We can stay like this. <laughs> or <now>. upside down. <laughs> Either way, it's staying this way. Oh. Yeah, that's where it's going now. <laughs> but it says caution spot on the front towards me, so it's gotta be oh, that okay. way, I hope. <laughs> it could be in big neon lights and I'd still touch it. <laughs> Just to make sure that it works. Oh, tell you what, that wire is a bit of a nightmare with that screw, though. All the uh, cables are quite tight, you know, in there. Obviously, uh, there's not a lot of play on it, then. It's quite tight. Oh, right. Oh. So you can I tell you've been working with the needles today because that finger action's awesome. Oh, it is. <laughs> so you get them finger strengths going. Yeah, oh, it's definite. Definitely. Definitely. Crocheting. You're a married man. You've got nothing to prove anymore. That's it. You've got you've got to work out somehow. You've got to work those finger muscles. Yeah, we get the uh, the strength in the wrist. <laughs> Nothing worse than a, a limp wrist. James is asking if you're going to do the um, 3D printing uh, mod and cutting the front. Um, I'm trying not to. But if, if it's not a great view to get like a camera footage of it, you know, the time I might have to. <coughs> It's, it's it's not the best for that sort of application, is it, really? It's, I don't think no. it's the best design for sort of filmage. Yeah, I don't think they've actually... They've probably just thought, we'll make a printer, get it out, and then let the community sort out for uh, the views for the camera time lapses or anything. But... Yeah, I mean... 
suppose if you could make a mount facing down on it, maybe, but. Um, yeah, you probably could at the front, to be honest. You could. Uh, no moving parts on the top part. So yeah, so if you made right. like a <coughs> sitting in mount there that sort of faced at it, you know, it might work, but. To be honest, you could probably put a bulldog clip on there, you know, clip it on and hang a camera yeah. clip, probably. If you get into all that. What are you after now? Now it's keeping yelling. Yes. Yeah. Don't have it too loud. Da, 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 da. There you go. Idiots die. The screws go up. That's right. Look, if I can build this, I'm pretty sure. That'll do design. <laughs> like it. I mean, don't get me wrong. If it if it works and it performs as they're saying it should do, like the speed and the the quality and everything else, and fair play to them, you know. But I'm skeptical. Well, uh, since I've got this, I'm actually a bit more swaying towards clipper. Actually, there seems to be a lot of a lot of people using clipper at the moment on things so like james has obviously got it on his boron i know uh, sam's using it on his rat rig isn't he yeah i mean there's a lot of advantage of going towards clipper to be honest and especially for a core xy um but because it's obviously yeah. there just seems like way too many screws going in here I'll be fairer. I'll probably be printing on this one day, and there'll be more screws missing than there actually is, isn't there? <laughs> the maintenance of the screws is going to be. What does the machine lot. retail for? As James is asking. Um, cool. I think I've seen. I think it was about six fifty on Crowley side. Just check for me, man. Short six foot. I'm just gonna have a quick hunt now and see if I can find. I know where is it 3D Jake? Yeah, I know they've got a lot on their, their website now. But as per normal, you don't actually know how many are available. I know Crowley has some <coughs> and then I refreshed the page and it was it was already well, Technology um, Outlet's got it for five nine five ninety six. There you go. Is that from the um, UK as well? Yeah, you, uh, Creality Official have got it for six hundred and ninety nine dollars in stock for any American the, watches. And then at the import for uh, duty to the UK. Yeah, I mean that's the, you know, if you're. A, an american viewer then i'd say yeah it's worth having a look see what deal you can get from them but um yeah it's yeah, a, let's have a look. 171 pound for this ups banggood uk is 536 3d jakes at 593 so you're looking around the 600 mark either way you look at it yeah. And um, Tom Top as well. They're um, Tom Top. Tom do, Top. Uh, they they charge for delivery, so you don't actually get charged anything for like import or duty, which is can work out a bit cheaper. Because I got my CR10 Smart from them, and I paid a hundred because I won it, but I want, paid one hundred and forty for the postage, and that was yeah. It. Yeah, that's um, the problem. Yeah. When companies send stuff out, they don't always put the real price. No, that's the, that's the thing. You you quite often get stung with the import tax or the the import fee, which is always We've fun. Got to pay for Boris Johnson, uh, ten holidays a year, haven't we? Oh yeah, definitely. You know. Hi, Zachary. Nice to see you, mate. How's your vor ongoing, Zachary? Tell you what, oh, 
I haven't been in the gym for years, but I tell you what, I've had a workout building this. Jesus. <laughs> There's going to be no no knitting for you tomorrow, mate. Knitting? I feel I might be back in A and E. I took some tramadol just to be able to do this. <laughs> oh Jesus! The missus will get home from work tonight. I'll be asleep in the bed, and she'll be like, uh, "What have you done all day?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think most of us know that one. one. Yeah, seven hundred screws into a printer. <laughs> found out the chops on the wrong way around <laughs> hey it could be interesting can i turn it upside down and see if it prints that way that would be quite interesting actually i'd, I'd probably prefer to see it do that yeah there was that one on um was it murph they went to not long ago they had that one that flipped around like a uh, delta yeah yeah that was, that was quite interesting I was watching a print on um on a, a screw print the other day which was quite cool it was on like a, a threaded bar and it was printing on a threaded bar making um turbines and things that was quite cool it's quite interesting only build during the stream ah. it's been a fun stream that one's actually <laughs> Zachary got a CR200B like I got. Uh, nice. Just to do his uh, to, to do his ABS and that for his Voron. Nice. Nice. Yeah. And Zachary goes on Twitch now a couple of times a week, I think. I'm not quite sure how many times a week, but he goes on there just for a bit more of a, a chill out. Uh, yeah. I mean that's that's generally why we started out on the on our Twitch channel really is just more about chilling and, and chatting and helping anybody out and then showing um what products we we can sort of show off for the the week and sort of uh just more put a bit of awareness on what's out there really. Yeah. Well if anyone's watching this uh, in the future, this is not how to build it. You'll probably find the right <laughs> way eventually. I think, to be honest, oh. whoever buys one of these, you might want to purchase a DeWalt Wizzy gun at the same time. But I, I might shoot myself in the foot here, but I haven't actually dropped any screws yet, like James does. Right <laughs> now. I'll tell you that as a win. Tell you what, that the extruder and the filament run out because it's just on a really thin piece of metal that could get quite angle grinder <laughs> so right, well, it's looking more like the picture so i suppose your next big one's going to be your wiring inside isn't it surely you can't have that many more screws to put in it um i'll tell you what we we'll take bets someone wants to have a guess the winner yeah basically five. the bed only has one z screw and then it is only one z isn't it and then yeah. it's cantilevered on a carriage hmm. well this print is gonna have to move anyway because the filament holder is on the other side it's a 50 pound off yeah that's that's a bargain i mean you get you're getting it still for around 550 ish um I'll tell you what yeah with that roof on oh give it some weight yeah. oh jesus have you got reinforcement on your bench carl because you might need it at this rate mate yeah i have <laughs> that's to take my weight when i'm leaning on it so it should hold <laughs> It should hypothetically hold this, but you just never know, do you? You never know. So. Oh, right. Okay, we've only got a few more bits to do anyway. I mean, it, it oh, doesn't geez. look too ugly from the front, looking on it. It doesn't look, you know. Do you print it for it to look, I don't know, nice? 
I don't know. Some hey. of the uh, Zach- Zachary had. Oh, what was that prince who had Zachary? The the kids, well, not the kids ones, but the one that uh, 3D nerd slated as well. Uh, Zachary had this circular one. All oh, right. Uh, it, it was originally on Kickstarter, I believe. I think from that. Right, I don't know if that is the best place for the filament to be, but oh well. I'm sure I can change it somewhere else. It's very compact, I'll give it that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's got a fairly tidy footprint, is not it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, it has... Yep. Uh, please don't say that was a screw that just fell out. No, it's the cable fell down, I think, mate. Oh, thank Christ for that. I made jinx myself then, didn't I, for dropping screws? But as I said at the beginning, when I opened the box and said to Martin, it was actually the first one from actually Corality that had a UK plug, so... The, the idex jade lobo j1 i actually really quite like the look of that that looks like um that could be pretty special to be honest um this Ten is a linear, not, linear linear rail isn't it on this one yeah and then yeah. wheels go on the z is it yeah anyway, i'll move the camera and give you a little peek so let me see yeah so there's the the little sled gantry there it goes up you got your ooh, linear rails i'm not apologize for the quality but and then it's got ooh, so basically on your side. your razor you've got wheels as a guide haven't you just as a guiding rail yeah, yeah. and then you've got linear on here as well give it it's it's, it's, it's greased quite well as well for a change as I said to Martin at the beginning, they say on their website that it does have about 80,000 hours of use before they need to be replaced. Either the printer is going to die before that or I'm going to die before that. So we'll find out one way or the other. Right. Not so, enough, Carl. Tell you what, if Mrs. Other way, she had me printing my own casket. <laughs> Right, so we're going to put plastic casing over the screws for that. That isn't the greatest I've seen. But yeah, Creality's first linear rail um, printer, which I'm kind of glad they finally got on board with it. Other than yeah. the likes of their LD00 series resin printers and things, they have got linear rail system but yeah it's definitely first for their fdms right uh it's also got a type c usb you know the c for android phones connection on the side so it'll be quite interesting to see do you there zachary in a bit why have they gone that way oh, jesus christ I tell you what, um, uh, good job i've got herniated discs already oh. Right, so this goes in there's five, three, four, five. There's only one way to go in. And there is. Yeah. Ooh, got How do they know it's nine years or eighty thousand hours of print time? Um do you know what? I've probably given it to IKEA to do the test for them. <laughs> it's it's either that or the linear rails have been produced by the company they get them off for uh, x amount of yeah, time yeah. and that company gives the guarantee that it's eighty thousand hours or it, that's their guideline the cable for the oh jesus christ the size there, i think the cable goes into the back do you know what it's quite nice 
it might get in the way a bit you know if you want to have it in a bit of a smaller area i tell you what it's uh, it's in quite well and it? it's it's sturdier yeah that's quite nice actually as soon as you uh push the ribbon in these look bits on the end clip around it already uh so, so the chance for it to fall out or be pulled out yeah it's sort of like an anchor on the end either side yeah but again it's uh it's protruding out a little bit but then again the rollers on the the bed probably just stick out a little bit further wow right so where are we up to now right Will so now power. apparently solution for v-wheel jamming of heated bed plate gently dial the v manually Seem to be fine. If idling happens, please use an open-ended wrench to adjust the off-center separation. Right. Yeah, so oh. basically, what they're saying is, if it spins, use a uh, yeah. spanner mm -hmm. to uh, adjust the eccentric nut. It does make me giggle sometimes. You know the translations, the the way it's actually reads. Word. It is a bit. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> It's an interesting thing, but I'll tell you what, I'll actually turn the printer around this way. I'll be able to get the oh, plugged in and the filament in that. Oh, tell you what, I might sleep actually tonight. Oh. Right, well, fingers crossed, everyone. Let's see if we have any blue smoke, white smoke, or any smoke out there. The light would be good. Okay. Oh. Oh. Is that visible? So yeah. I've got nine languages now. So similar to the CR10 smart display screen. Um, it's slightly different. I'd say more like the CR200 screen, actually, with it being okay. built in. Okay. One of the downsides I had with the CR200 is it's it's flat. So, you know, yeah. a bit of sunlight in it. You're a bit uh, knacker screwed, really. But <laughs> I like that display. And if there's any sun really coming in, I'm guessing this could, the top could potentially shelter it. Block it a bit. Right, I'll go for English. Oh, boring. It's pretty responsive. So, as usual, we've got the calling now, which seems to be coming on all their printers a little bit bit better automatic manual and fan that fan is pretty loud actually hmm i was gonna say that's about all i can hear other than the beeping would be the fan so i'm just gonna check the decibel with my watch actually because it is noisy yes yeah, 60 decibels mm. hmm uh, it's not sweet. I kind of you get used to it actually kind of throwing the voice of the wife and the kids out really I'm guessing so hardware version firmware version screen version print size 250 250 by 300 it actually you know looking at it it doesn't look big like I said you know it's a little bit bigger than the end of three v2 Obviously, it's got that bit bigger build size. Yeah. So you've got the old remote, remote control, so you can control this. But I tell you what, I'm going to stick, give the bed a clear. I might as well just stick a print on and see if we can uh, make it work or break it. <laughs> or in my case. I mean, what's, what's the leveling like? Is it just a standard paper job it, or yeah. is it auto bed level? Yeah. Standard with uh, right, let's see if I can find it. But you got the level in there, can you see that? Yeah, so it doesn't have auto leveling from what I've been reading. There isn't actually anything on the hot end either, like the small CR6s. Um, but yeah, so it's basically again with the the knobs, the springs, and a piece of paper. Fair, fair. 
I don't know where you would actually fit maybe a BL touch or something because obviously it's got the two fans on each side. You'd have to you'd have to design some bracket, wouldn't you, to come around the fan or yeah, some. Of... I have to say, actually, I quite like. I quite like the hot end. Actually, it's quite a uh, quite tight. Actually, they're yeah, quite small. Yeah. Yeah. Put one there. Another one on there. To be honest, this this sort of fan was promised on the uh, CR two hundred Bs. Actually, if you actually go on their website, you can actually see it's uh, hot end a has dual two cooling. Fans, so in theory, it doesn't. Yeah. Right. Okay. So right, as I mentioned at the beginning, got half a kilogram of PLA plus. That's a nice touch. Makes a change. Yeah, I'm I'm getting right. bored of machines turning up when there's not even a sample in there. It's like the way I look at it is if I brought that and it was a Christmas present for my kids, say, and they opened it up and there, there was no sample of filament, they'd be gutted. And what you do, you ain't yeah. gonna be able to go run out and get filament over Christmas. Yeah, especially if it's the first one or Yeah. You know, the you know, amount of times people ask at groups is, what should I buy, you know, stock-wise to my, my printer? Yeah. Um, I mean, for me, personally, I think there should be at least one of those small wound packets of, you know, sample filament, like a 50 grams, just enough so you, you can print something. Do you know what would be nice? If you print all the samples they put on the, the SD card... That would There's be a winner. Filament to do all the models. Yeah, if they if they're gonna supply all the models, then surely they can supply enough filament to cover all those models. But yeah, maybe um, not with filament. A lot cheaper. Yeah. Tell you what, this is uh, it's, it's moving up a bit slow. But we're getting there. Okay, so they. Stopper at the back there. I don't know if I can get in actually and show you. So there's, can you see? I can't yeah, see. Yeah, the there. adjustment. Stopper there just for to stop the bed going up a little bit more. Uh, it's very, very, actually, it's quite loose. Really. It's, uh, it is the same one that's on the uh, CR200B actually. Uh, but it seems to work all right on them. <clears throat> Right, so this is what the uh, maybe gone a bit too high. I apologize, I'm crap with cameras. <laughs> so, right, let's right off. Wow. So, basically, oh, this is just a digital version of the corner to corner, it said corner assist. Yeah, well, it actually says do AUX level on it, you know, the auxiliary leveling. Yeah. Um, to obviously get in the middle so uh, is it? Uh, i'll tell you what them springs make a hell of a difference you know like uh, sam's video the other day you know with the rat rig just the yeah. the ability to select what board you want what hen hot end you want or the selection it process. gives you that adaptability yeah. so much more doesn't it yeah and if if companies like reality did it do you know what if they buy it at a cost price you know it's not people actually breaking them probably <laughs> but it would mean that you could swap out the boy if you did break a board you could simply swap it over boot it up and it really yeah and select a new board or a new hot end yeah. or Well, actually, Tim did his first part of his rat rig build on Sunday night, Canada time. Um, I've watched it on Monday morning, and it's quite intriguing to watch. You're totally right there, Dwight. Um, yeah. 
basically if producers actually put one of their better end filaments into the box it's more likely to promote the printer buyer to return back and buy said filament again or look through their actual products and buy another roll of filament of their product um yeah it's reality jam- their filament improved vastly i think yeah i mean you know, with I've, PPC, I've, had, CR. I've had most of, of their newer ones they actually sent the uh hd version for me to test a while back well before they launched it to be honest um and yeah the quality on that on their filaments gone up hugely um and i think there's a lot of producers out there now and more and more so that are creating good quality filament um that if they did actually include a role you are more likely to get that reoccurring footfall Yeah, it's an idea for you. I've run some uh, one rolls off quality actually, and actually cost me more in import and charges than buying it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a bit of one of them. Um, yeah, it is. It is a funny one. I've been I've been playing with a lot of different roles for the last few months of different producers and over on our channel we're doing like a a print off if you like on where we rate each maker's filament um and so far that we've had more this year than any other year that are very close because yeah, producers I've, uh, are all up in their game it's 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 getting quite tight now um so i'm going to have to do like a major print off at some point again of the top you know and get right down to the nitty gritty on which is better and which is worse really yeah i've, I've, I've i think i try is it eoni eona or whatever it's called uh e o n o yeah really really impressed with that stuff that stuff's really good the the ono the ono um yeah. yeah that that's it's really smooth <laughs> it finishes out really smooth and it really shouldn't do because i've put it under some really crap conditions and it's still done really well right i've done the old manual bed leveling so right, if you get a chance try the the uh hd series Reality filament that's actually super so, nice to print with so this is actually my first printer with linear rails i'm just moving it from one corner to the other it just seems to look more robust just the actual speed as well so let's we'll see if we can do 250 millimeters a second but are you going to print the card Oh, right. It's, it's, it's definitely well right. worth trying, Dwight, or anybody else for that fact. It, it's, yeah, it it's class as a HD series, which is a high de- definition series, um, and it's very, or HP, sorry, high performance, and it's very. If you get the settings right, it doesn't string at all. It, it is just string free it's it's yeah really refined filament is quite nice right you go by the booklet you have to use reality slicer but i'll just print something off from the sd card and sort out my oh yeah sure. i'll just start out print. on their card and then we can play with the, with the slicer from there can't we and sort of well, to be honest i went on before on the their, their slicer on my uh, wife's windows laptop it, was, it said update so i updated it and it went to cura it is so basically a version of cura anyway right so it's the card Let's it's derived from cura anyway so it, it's it'll work it'll work i'm sure 
So, right, as usual, I bet the SD card goes in upside down. I actually prefer them when they're a little bit bigger, the SD cards. Yeah, these micro ones, they're, they're all very well, but they are a bit fiddly, mate. <laughs> it's just yeah. like, let's make them as small as humanly possible for people with big fat fingers to try and put them into a tiny little hole. Yep. And now, I can't get the bugger out. Putting upside down, yeah, done that, and now it's and it was done smooth. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so that yeah, looks like it's getting it's it's there's a lot of companies that are starting to do their own version of it it's not just creality that are uh, coming off the back end of cura now it's it's a bit annoying if i'm honest i would like to see right. them just put their profile into cura i think that's the end of that actually i'm gonna have to uh oh strip it down now uh pliers out. SD card out. Oh and nothing's showing up. Typical. Oh well. Always the way. Oh. Yeah, it is, James. It's um it's it's frustrating, mate, because to be honest, if if they just put you the profile in the on the SD card they supply, you could then put that direct in Cura and you could generally get away without any of the issues they cause. Um, I don't hoping... know why, you know, like Creality Centre, why you can't, if you've got Cura and you've got Creality and you load Cura, it should pick up the printer profiles off Creality Slicer. But. Yeah, see, what I generally do is just rebuild another profile straight into Cura, um, and I don't use the Creality um, slicer, to be honest. Mm. I've, I've, got a, a, really I've got a universal um, profile that runs on most of my small machines, and it's not failed me so far, so I don't tend to even bother sort of entertaining the the individual slices yeah um there's a they they, they put a warning note in the cr10 smart you know about a, a g code um because obviously people will just use i don't know generic cr10 s or whatever so you, you have to mm. slightly adjust the g code and it, it's fine uh, yeah yeah see when the the when i got the hornet the hornet you have to put in the whole profile into cura and then put the start code and the end code because it it's basically back to front to a, uh, the standard enders and things like that it's on the right hand side instead of the left and it wipes at the front instead of the side uh, probably took 20 minutes i could be one step further than joe and actually chop in the bottom Just SD card out. What a nightmare. Oh, it's it's annoying. Is it not gone in you know, straight? The, Has it gone in an angle? Or? No, it, it went in and kind of took, and now it's stuck. No, it's just wet. Pees me off. <laughs> but. But you built it. Yeah. Um, my, I haven't lost any parts of my body yet. So that's good going. But it and is it's built. Just things like that really winds me up. Yeah, great. Yeah, because you're right at the end as well. It's so annoying. Yeah. And that's well, why they shouldn't be the micro SD cards. They. Oh well. Oh well. In fairness, you've got it built. So I mean, the next video will be printing. Or 
and getting chopped up with a chainsaw. We see. Or getting chopped up, which equally could yeah. be quite as amusing. Oh, I guarantee it probably get the most views I'll ever have. <laughs> yeah, high end views for chopping up a Creality Ender 7. <laughs> Can't go wrong. But no, that, that one. Well. Do you know what? It's not a bad build, actually. It's quite. There's a lot of screws and uh, bits going here. It is solid once it's on. Yeah, that, I mean, that's. It's, that's uh, the thing there is a hell of a lot of screwing and little bits to go and be done but if it's solid it's solid yeah. it's what it says on the tin yeah uh, but like you say you know you could probably put a bulldog clip have a camera hanging off up for the front to to view your time lapses hmm. but mm, yeah i'm, I'm yeah. sure a bracket could be made up if not and And definitely it's, something it's, could be you know, after what just over an hour a bit well an hour and 20 of building and it comes down to the sd card <laughs> stuck. so in fairness though reality made an all right printer it's just they supplied a crap sd yeah. card yeah i don't if, if i don't know why because <clears throat> the cr10 which is quite new is the bigger sd cards the, the proper, cr200s yeah. are all bigger sd cards why go back to a micro sd which is oh, it's so fidgety <laughs> <laughs> but you've done well mate, that, it? yeah raspberry pi yeah yeah raspberry pi it or wait for another one to be delivered. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. It happens yeah, though, but it shouldn't really. Broke, really. I need another one. It, it's just <laughs> great. See if, and I see put if all them want... screws in to hold the country up. <laughs> you could always message them tomorrow, Carl, and say, look, I've, I've tried putting this together, but it's broke. You need to send another one out. Mm. I forgot to be the phone that was in the box to lie it down now, so it just won't be recycled yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Do you know what? It's it's solid. It is heavy. A lot of wool towards the back, so I guess that's quite good, really, especially with the uh, bed moving on that area. Mm. It's. It happens, you know. Zachary did his CR two hundred Bs and. This was playing the devil's advocate for him on a live. So. I had a, right, in fairness, I had a artillery hornet, built the whole thing, went to turn it on, and it was blue screened. Yes, I remember. Yeah, but, and, and got, got onto the producer, and it worked out. We went through everything. It was a dead mainboard. <laughs> Nothing I could do about exactly, it. You know? It's not the yeah, hard. Exactly. It's not the SD card that's broken. It's actually stuck. It's actually so, Carl's uh, installment of the SD wait. card. Yeah. <laughs> Don't for the tutorial on the SD card, but everything else. Fantastic on the printer, on the storage card. The Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. It's the important part, as well, isn't it, really, at the end of the day? Yeah. It's... it's yeah, I don't really want to be hooking a laptop on using it like that to use, but no, I'll figure I mean, it out. If not, you should be able to. I would imagine you I'll can, chopping, if you lay it on its side or on its back, and you'll be able to unscrew the bottom panel and expose yeah. the um, main board, I, I would imagine, and be able to. To be honest, I'm, yeah, I might order a card reader, you know, one that in there extend to the, the, the bigger sd card just to put on the side it's not a bad shout one of those ribbon ones yeah yeah it's not a bad shout mate yeah uh actually i i leveled the bed um put the sd card into um pick a file to print and i'll show you he clogged it stuck 
So the SD card slot is clogged, not the hot end yet. <laughs> so, so I best come off and make sure the kids haven't destroyed the house in the last hour and a half. And <laughs> I, I will record me taking it apart. To yeah, well, it. I mean, it'd be worth making a video yeah. of getting yeah. it out, wouldn't it? If nothing else, just so other people know yeah. what to do if it happens. Yeah, don't do a call. Um, yeah, don't, don't do but, a call. You know, yeah. you've done well, mate. I mean, but, like I say, I've, I've had the yeah, same. I have to wait no, a doubt to the word. no doubt everybody yeah. else has had the same. It's, it's tidy. Give it that. But, yeah. Um, but thank you everyone for coming across and uh, keeping Martin in today. And uh, I've got my first official unboxing complete. So thank you very much. And thank uh, you so much. Thanks for having me. See you later. Chaps. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Bye bye.